The relative peace witnessed in the All Progressive Congress, APC, Imo State chapter, in last few months seems to be at the verge of rupture, following the visit to the party's national office in Abuja by a former governor of Imo State and progenitor of APC in Imo State, Senator Rochas Okorocha. Rochas Okorocha had a few days ago stormed the APC National Secretariat Abuja, asking that Chief Daniel Wanfors, executive, be recognized as the authentic state chairman of the party in Imo State. Okorocha was accompanied on the journey by Senator Ifai Arareme, Sajud Ejogu, a former SSG to Imo State, two members of the National Assembly, namely Honorable Uzori Bo, OZB, and Honorable Paska Obi, and Chief Uche Uwonsu, a former governorship candidate in Imo State, and others. They are demanding that APC should obey a court order which they said recognized Chief Daniel Owanfo as APC Executive Chairman in Imo State as the authentic one in Imo. However, the government of Senator Hope Ozodima has been dealing and recognized the APC Executive led by Chief Makon Ilemegbo as the authentic APC Executive in Imo State. Meanwhile, during the recent Imo APC revalidation and registration of members, the faction led by Owela Rocha Sokorocha, which has great numbers too, did not participate in the exercise. This had led the APC to direct that Imo APC should reopen its registration exercise for a further period. Maybe for the Okorocha faction to register since they stayed away from the first exercise. It was learned that even though the Okorosha delegation did not meet the APC National Interim Chairman in the office, the delegation was given a favorable hearing as the senior official who welcomed the Okorosha team assured that the party would look into the matter. There is no how APC will throw away their agitations. It must be looked into. How can APC lose a former governor and serving senator, three members of the National Assembly and Senator Ararime? We have asked them to first go and register as APC members. We can't lose them. A senior APC officer in Abuja told Trumpeter. However, indications are that Governor Hopo Zodima will not allow Okorocha to have his way in Imo APC as the new leader of the party in Imo State, being the governor of the state now. As it can be recalled, when Okorocha was governor of Imo State, he did not allow anyone to boss him. Well, um, a new a new crisis is um, is brewing between Hope Ozadima and Rocha Sokorocha. We know that um, their crises have known no end. It's been on and on from um, the university to the arrest of Rocha Sokorocha, the name calling and all of that. You know, even at the point where um, the um, southeast states were being attacked, Imo State was attacked too by unknown gunmen. Allegations uh, uh, were going around, were flying around. Hope Ozadima was stating that uh, those who are against him, they are the ones, the people who want to unseat him, they are the ones who are trying to make uh, Imo State ungovernable. They are the ones who wants to paint him as a bad governor so that he can be removed. Their crises have gone on and on to the extent that uh, even Rocha Sokorocha granted an interview, an exclusive interview, into the detail of how everything transpired, how. Hope Ozadima is uh, <laughs> Buhari's boy. How uh, is um, the loyalist of President Mohammed Buhari to do the bid? He calls it Abuja. That when Abuja started controlling him, that was when uh, um, Hope Ozadima just turned around. That up to now, he cannot really pinpoint what went wrong, but he knows that uh, it is Abuja, something in Abuja that is controlling Rocha Sokorocha. Well, this new crisis that is brewing is um, all about um, ownership. Who is there? The head of the party, both of them are APC chieftains, and the the issue that even um that is before Hope Ozodima, you know, the Supreme Court um judgment that um declared him governor is being challenged, and uh, we don't know any time now he might be removed, or we don't know if he will um finish his tenure. Well, what um led to that? Both of them, the same party members, they did not come to agreement who the APC candidate was. Rocha Sokorocha was pushing for his son-in-law in the person of um, Uche Owosu. 
after that battle, um, we saw how um, um, even Uche was so hard to decamp. He moved to another party in order to get that party's ticket. But um, it all ended that way that the Supreme Court uh, um, declared Hope Ozodima as governor. That battle finished and um, the, the battle for um, senatorial election came up again. Rocha Sokorocha had his own loyalist in the person of Ifani Arareme. Imo State Governor's um, loyalist was uh, Frank Ibezi. We saw how they went back and forth. In one day, um, court gave two orders, conflicting order. One, um, instructing INEC to recognize and um, give a certificate of return to <laughs> one of them. That same, in less than how many hours, another order came. And INEC said, you know what, we cannot be tossed back and forth. You know what, we're just going to wait and we're going to examine and look into um, this issue closely. So we're not giving anyone certificate of return. So we've seen how the battle between them has been endless. Rocha Sokorocha stormed the um, APC secretariat in Abuja. And all that he's asking is that Chief Daniel Wanfo be recognized as the authentic state chairman of the party in Imo State. And obviously, for him to be making that call, for him to be pushing for that, we know that um, Daniel Wanfo is his ally. So, hmm, factions, th these factions, they exist everywhere. APC as a party, as a whole, we know they've had their own internal crisis from the days of Adam Soshomole. You know, it was even stated that Adam Soshomole was the one that um, was not steering the party in the right direction. That was why he got sacked. After he was sacked, the crisis did not end in the party. APC acts itself, um, uh, uh, political analysts have argued that it's as a result of all of this, their crisis. That is why they've not even um, governed the country properly. APC is the ruling party. It's the ruling party and we can see how APC have disappointed Nigerians. Nigerians have been disappointed by the party. The party has failed Nigerians. All of those promises um, during their campaigning activities that they will do this and do this and do that. They've all failed in that, and it's as a result of all of this crisis. And what is the, if you look at um, what is behind all of this crisis, is personal interest. Because if they are all determined to serve the people, if it is all about the people, then it's the same people they are fighting for. They will not be having all of this crisis. But personal interest, everybody wants to serve their own interest. A question is being asked that um, uh, uh, um, Okorocha, who is pushing, who is trying to fight um, for the ownership of the party while he was governor, he was a former governor as well. No one bossed him around. And um, it's something that is done within other political parties. The governor of the state is like the head of the party. We know they still have state chairman, but the governor of the state is the head of the party. This new crisis that is about brewing, we don't know how it will go. They received him well at the National Secretariat, and then um, they said they've heard this complaint. They will look into it. We know Hope Ozaduma would always fire back. Well, guys, let's hear your thought down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.